have you ever thought about if wigs were seasons? What wigs would belong to which season, right? We're just heading into fall. Fall, it just tickles the senses. Fall is the most sensual season of the year, in my opinion. You have a variety of textures, colors, some vibrant, beautiful colors. So this is, if wigs were seasons, fall edition coming up. So today I am going to show you eight wigs that sort of remind me of fall or put me in the mood for fall or that complement the autumn season. I'm gonna start with what I'm wearing here, which is Raquel Welch's Wavy Day and RL1222SS Shaded Cappuccino. Now, I think this one actually came out or it was introduced to us in the spring, um, but to me, it just feels like a fall style. <laughs> it's a mid-length. It looks beautiful with a high neck. It just looks like such a cozy, cozy wig with the wig with the wave. I don't need to put it up for it to look good or to accommodate a hot day or anything. This is just perfect. And I think what sets it off for me the most is this color shaded cappuccino. Um, they bring that platinum highlight right up to that lace front and then it kind of bands all the way down to frame the face. It's gorgeous. You see Hollywood movie starlets wearing wig style or wearing, they might be wigs, but wearing hairstyles like this all the time, right? So this is a lace front full monofilament top, absolutely gorgeous style by Raquel Welch. It's not too heavy of a style. It's just a really nice density. It is a heat friendly fiber. Okay, so let's move on then. Uh, the next one that I wanna show you in my fall lineup is another one that's kind of like this. Um, it has been a favorite of mine, but I, again, I feel like the length and the density and just the overall look of it is going to really remind you of fall. We're going to take a look at the Delgona 16 by Beltress and the hand tied version back here in Root Beer Float Blonde. Here's the Beltress Delgona 16 hand tied and Root Beer Float Blonde. It just sets off this, turtle, this turtleneck beautifully, doesn't it? Again, I like this for a lot of the same reasons that I really enjoyed the wavy day. Um, it's wavy. It's it's about 16 inches long. It has some beach wave that has been really kind of brushed and texturized, all the flips and waves. The density is a little thicker than the regular Dalgona 16, and it's hand tied. So you can just work with your updos and beautiful fall styling. without revealing wefts. There are so many fall events uh, going into Halloween and Thanksgiving and then into Christmas. I just believe that this is a very fallish wig to me. And I am going to enjoy wearing it with all of my fall outfits. This Root Beer Float Blonde, I really, I really love it. Um, much like the shaded cappuccino back on wavy day, it has those platinum pieces around the face. It brightens up the face, but yet uh, there's a lot of depth and dimension to the color. It has a medium brown root. It's probably gonna be a little bit lighter and brighter compared to the shaded cappuccino, but how gorgeous is this wig? It's just over the top, beautiful. And I think my favorite season to wear this style is going to be fall. Okay, so next, let's check one out. I have some beautiful fallish colors as well. Some styles and colors that really remind me of fall. We're gonna take a look at uh, Joy by Wig Pro in the color Flame. Wow, <laughs> uh, this is a true fall inspired wig style through and through. It has this lush density, but this spicy red called flame. It's just a mixture of coppers, much like we would see in nature around this time of year. And how decadent and beautiful is it? 
you can get lots of different styling options from this one. Again, the density is more lush. It has a broken, a nice broken spiral wave. Again, not too long, not too short, right around that 18 inches. And Joy has a lace front and full monofilament top so you can part it wherever you like. So it looks gorgeous as it's worn down. It makes an amazing little ponytail. Sometimes the weather can be variable in the fall so you can easily get that off of the neck. So if wigs were seasons, I feel like this particular joy would be a fall style and color. Okay, next I wanna show you, I have reviewed this one recently. It's absolutely probably one of the most stunning long wigs that I have ever seen. And it's back here on letter P. This one is the Raquel Welch's Stroke of Genius in Shaded Sand. Long cascading tiers of layers a beautiful, thick, lush density, kind of retro inspired. There's no other season that would highlight this hair as well as fall, don't you think? Oh, it's just splendid with a little turtleneck with the layers that just kind of graze over the face and back into the style. That first layer reaching about eight inches, which is about collar length. And then tiers of layers after that. This big bouncy, what I wanna say, bountiful wave. I can see myself just visiting with family or friends beside a, a crackling fireplace just having a nice conversation and enjoying one another I think this is just beautiful and if I go outside and it's a bit nippy well who doesn't love the built-in warmth of a lush long style like this this one has the lace front left mono part in this shaded sand is beautiful and on this piece rather dramatic with its highlights but the lush body and the bountiful, bountiful waves and cascading layers just make this a true stroke of genius, really. A stroke of genius for fall, that is. Okay, so let's take a look at my next piece. Um, this one is one that I've reviewed before. It's more of an affordable style and a really spicy uh, light chocolate. This is Renee of Paris's Shannon. This is Renee of Paris's Shannon in the color light chocolate. This is a part of my affordable series, as this is just a little traditional cap style, but the shag cut here is absolutely timeless, and I think it looks beautiful with a lot of these turtlenecks and fall pieces. Put on some little dangly earrings. You can tuck it so easily. And this color light chocolate does give a little bit of an auburn look to it. So it does have that spiciness that we can sometimes think of for fall. So I adore this style for the fall season. Affordable style, Renee of Paris' Shannon and light chocolate. If you haven't tried this style, I think this would be a great staple for any wig wardrobe. Just to kind of throw it on and go out the door. You can dress it up, you can wear it very casual. It has a, a nice practical bang to it. Okay, so what else do we have? Oh, I see one now. This one actually made my fall colors list last year. And that is Reeves by Aesthetica in the color ROM 6240RT4. Let's try it on. I love bringing this piece out in the fall. It looks fantastic with sweaters and heavier, more bulky clothing. 
And there's so many styling options with this one. I featured this one in a simple sexy styling video that I did, just pulling it back. Reeves is beautiful. It's just an open cap style, so there's no lace or monofilament, um, but it features this curling iron curl. So these spirals are nearly intact, um, but it has a smooth crown and it's smooth around the face, about five and a half, six inches here on the fringe, and it kind of divides around the face very nicely. This is not a heavy density style, but there is a lot of permatease. Um, which helps give it a nice natural look, but also allows you to get some bigger, more holiday type styling out of it or just something really sexy and glamorous. Not to mention this color, this ROM 6240 RT4. This is the best fall color ever. It's just a sun burnished, um, light brown that has kind of faded into this butterscotch. So what it what it really is um, is a, a light chestnut brown and then you've got all of this really deep copper blonde, deep copper blonde highlights and tips. So it does give you the illusion that there's sort of a grow out from summer going on. And then you've got the darker, medium to dark brown root. It's a warm, spicy color. One of my favorite ways to wear this is just bringing, loosely bring these layers back into kind of like a double tiered pullback here. Absolutely gorgeous. And then if you wanted to take and put it back in a pony. I love wreaths for all of the options, but in my opinion, if wigs were seasons, wreaths would be a fall. Okay, so let's take a look at another just open or basic cap wig style by Raquel Welch. And I have that over here. It's called On In 10. And I love this for fall because of the color, which is RL uh, 1422SS. This particular version of that color is very spicy, very warm. And also it's just gonna look so beautiful with sweaters and turtlenecks. So here's Raquel Welch's On In 10. Doesn't it look so cute? It's just a cute little bob style, chin length more or less. Kind of reminds me of that Renee of Paris Shannon and its length and its shaggy appeal. Um, I love all these layers and flips and it has some beautiful movement. But I think this is most flattered with a higher neck, such as the turtleneck sweater that I'm wearing. It's just open cap, so no lace or monofilament. And then this R1422 uh, SS, it's just a very, very warm, dark honey with some gold, light gold blonde highlighting and all of that is on a medium brown root. This color is highly variable. I've seen some look much lighter and brighter than this. And then this one seems to be a little darker. Now, to be fair, there was a heavy dose of silicone on this style as it arrived to me right out of the box. So that is kind of wearing off a bit, but isn't it cute? Frames the face so nicely. So for its style and color, I feel like On In 10 is a beautiful fall season style. We're gonna take a look at the uh, Belle Tresses Arista in a Nutella buttercream. So I'm wearing this Beltres Arista in Nutella buttercream. First of all, this is a beautiful little short, voluminous, wavy style. Perfect. So perfect with all of the uh, fall sweaters and things. It has a nice lush density to it, although there's not a lot of permatease. It has a lace front left monofilament side part. 
this bountiful bouncy wave it's unlike some of the beach wave styles by Beltress where they have taken those down on the ends. They've left this in its full voluptuous glory and I love it. And this Nutella buttercream is just a beautiful color, especially reminds me of fall. We've got some light chocolates, it's like some hot cocoa in there, some cream, some nutmeg, some cinnamon, and it just is a spicy, beautiful, warm blend. And remember, this color is not a rooted color. So you can definitely see the highlight going right up to the lace front. The density isn't so thick at the temple that you can't get a nice ear tuck, which I love wearing ear tucks with a style like this. You could get glammed up or dressed down. Just perfect for any fall event. So I have one last wig to show you today and it's not back here on my racks right now, so I'm gonna go grab it. But I had, a, I had it on my list of picks for wigs, if wigs were seasons, this would also be fall and this will round out number eight. You all have seen this one a lot lately. This just came out in September. This is Ellen Villa's Anima in the color light Bernstein Rooted. So it looks fantastic. It's just the right length and shape to be a beautiful fall style and uh, the color really sets it for me in terms of being a fall style. This light Bernstein rooted is such a spicy blend of some brown, auburn, and blonde. It's warm, spicy, beautiful. And who doesn't love this choppy curl? It's kind of smooth around the face and the crown and then it breaks up into this choppy curl all around which looks amazing with a lot of my fall clothes and jackets. Get a nice ear tuck. This one has a little mini lace front and a monofilament piece at the crown. So that rounds out my eight wigs for if wigs were seasons fall edition. Please share your favorite wig for the fall season. Many of us do change a little bit in terms of color or style for fall. So I would love to hear which is your favorite. Everybody have a great day. We'll see you soon.